great all-round performance from yourself today and a massive win. How does that feel? Yeah, it's obviously good to get back into, well, not back into winning ways, but it's been a little break for us, a few lads away. So it's nice to come back to the group and, um, yeah, get a win. It was obviously a pretty pleasing performance. That's, I reckon, as good a performance as you get in from a team. To be fair, obviously no one quite got 100, but I think the rest of it was pretty much all ticked off. Is there anything you personally try and do to ensure the transition back to red ball cricket successful? Obviously, after you have a month of white ball action. Um, yeah, it's probably a few things. Speak to Huggy, the batting coach, uh, and just more. It was nice we had a little week off, to be fair, in between. We didn't come straight into it. So, kind of more just a mental reset. It's obviously nice that we're playing for something. So, you're playing in a game that means quite a lot um, and stuff. So, yeah, pretty used to it now. Our schedule's quite hectic, even jumping between the T20s back into four days. So, yeah, it was nice to hit the ground running. It's definitely appeared a spinning pitch throughout the past three days. How do you try and make sure you exploit that as much as you can when you're bowling? Um, try and get the ball in my hand, but no, I hit on that. Um, I don't know, try and put the ball in a good area as much as possible. You realise, obviously doing both, you realise how hard it is sometimes, especially to start on a pitch like that or when a bowler's or batter's fresh, it's the toughest time. So, yeah, just try and stick to what you're doing, but thankfully it's on our side rather than a green seam or what normally is in England. <laughs> It was also quite a good day for yourself with the bat. Uh, pleasing to be back in the runs. Yeah, it's nice to get a few. It's probably one of the easier times to bat, to be fair, with everyone on the boundary. But uh, no, it's obviously nice to get a few more runs and stuff. And the platform was laid there by Brownie and Chef last night, and then obviously Tommy carried that on today. So we obviously knew where abouts we wanted to get to, score wise. So played to that, and yeah. And on the team as a whole, uh, Warwickshire 10, now Middlesex defeated by big margins. Is it impressive? Is it a mark of impressiveness that the team's been able to capitalise on these strong positions all season? Definitely. I think it's one of the reasons I come to the club to play in games like this. And I think the last few, like we've shown how good how good our team is really. And we've pretty much got every base covered, whether it's been done with seam, it's been the amount of runs like we're covering pretty much every base at the moment so it's good to see them playing some good cricket and it's enjoyable to be out there and it should breed a lot of confidence ahead for the rest of the two games yeah be? definitely i think obviously we know what we've got to do for these next two games and hope there's a slip up elsewhere and if there's not then fair play we can only do what we want i think that'd be we win eight on the bounce or something if we can win the next two which is pretty pretty good achievement so yeah i think we're just enjoying our cricket and whatever comes from it comes from it